Howdy, Possum Patty here. And today I'm going to show you how I made this fun, tiny secret letter with a spiral lock on it. I found that making these tiny letters is easier with a thinner paper. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a piece of tracing paper. And this is 9 by 12, 25 pounds. I folded the paper lengthwise. I call this hot dog, tall and thin. And I put some script in the center of each column. It's important to put two different columns because you're going to be poking a hole in the middle and along the edges. And now you can write a secret letter, but what I did was just take my script stamp, and this is by Hero Arts, and just put some script in there. Again, making sure that I put nothing in the gully and nothing on the edges. Okay, the next fold you want to make is just now bring the top to the bottom. Or the bottom to the top, doesn't matter. As long as you get it folded in half again. And now you're going to unfold it. And in the top part of the center, looking for the top part, it's the top part there, you're going to refold that middle fold just a little bit to the back. So you can see I have a little of the back edge poking out here. Like that. Okay, now you can take a knife and make this cut, but I'm going to just use a pair of scissors right now. And starting at the top, I'm going to leave a little space here at the top and make a pointed beginning and then cut down, make a very skinny strip. Carefully cutting until you get to the center fold. And stop right at the center fold. Do not take this off, leave this attached. Okay, now you're going to open this back up and put it back on the original fold, original center fold there. Now, when you bring the top down, whoops, got to go this way, turn it over, and when you bring the top down, like that, and fold it, you have this little piece sticking up. And it has to stay attached. So now you're going to fold this into thirds. It's a lot of folding. That's why thinner paper works well. Of course, you can use a bone folder. Press it down. Okay, now I'm going to fold this part in half, and I'm going to overlap it just a tiny bit. Because I'm going to be bringing this over like that. So I want it overlapped just a tiny bit. 
I'm just going to press this down. Okay. Now you need to do some cutting with a knife. So I'm just going to put this old cardboard underneath here. And right in the center, I'm going to make a slit opposite this long pokey piece of paper that's sticking out there, but making sure that I'm still on this smaller piece down here. So it helps if you turn it over so you can see where that edge is. Okay, right in the middle, I'm going to make a slit. I'm going to press really hard to go through all the layers. And you want the slit large enough to put this through twice. I'm turning it over to see if it's gone through all the layers. I'm going to wiggle it a little bit to open it up. Well, this is very thin, so you're going to have to make sure that You wiggle something into the slit a little bit so that it's nice and open. Now I'm going to go through the front part. Wiggle something in there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get it nice and open. Poke something a little fatter. Okay, that should work. I'm going to take the paper, carefully poke it through. Oops. So it's important that this is open. Now it's going through. Pull it carefully. Yep, got to get through the second part. Okay, going to pull that. Okay, that locks that side of the letter. And now I'm going to go around this side and poke it back through. I'm just tightening this up a little bit, like that. And now you bring it around across the top. And put it through. And now you have a spiral locked secret letter. And once you open this up, then it's pretty much known that this has been opened. So you can only open it once. So it's a pretty cool way to do a secret letter. Well, I hope you try making one of these locked secret letters for your journal. And thanks for coming along. Bye-bye now.